Hello, and we're back for another Pico CTF challenge. This time we're doing Vault Door 1, which is worth 100 points in the reverse engineering section. The description, this vault uses some complicated arrays. I hope you can make sense of it, Special Agent. The source code for the vault is here. So let's download that. And I have VS Code back here, looking in my downloads directory. Uh, we're gonna go a little faster this time because I did a video before, which was Vault Door Training, which is very similar. So this code literally doesn't change from the prior video. So we are not really gonna discuss it at all. It's taking input. What's of interest to us is down here. So we have how we check the password. We can see we take in a password and we perform a length check to make sure it's equal to 32. We also, we start checking each of the characters in it. So for example, character zero, so the first character has to be D. Character 29 has to be nine. So, uh, and then we continue, four has to be R. So you could very easily, just with uh, a piece of paper, you could start writing this down. And I'm gonna start here, so D, and actually that's gonna be very annoying with auto completion going. So I'll just do this as uh, password.txt and we will bring it over here. So it's split off and we'll start writing our password. So we would say zero position is D, the first position is three, uh, the second position is five, but this, this is so incredibly boring and tedious. I don't wanna do this, this is terrible. You could certainly do this, but I'd like to show you a better way so that what if there was a hundred checks or a thousand checks uh, which could very easily happen because this is actually fairly legitimate. Rather than putting the exact password in code that can't reach out to an internet server, for example, to get the password, they'll actually, they'll kind of scramble it in such a way that rather than you ever being able to look in the code and just see, hey, there's a uh, string password equals, oh no, you found me, please subscribe. Rather than it being that easy, They'll do things like this, and you'll see it's about to get much harder as we go on in this training series, uh, the vault training series. So we'll be using some code. So I'm gonna create a vault door solution.java, and we can see this started me off in terms of defining the class. We'll also use the auto completion to create a main method. Main is what this will run, and you can see immediately we have the run option or the debug option. And then what I'm gonna do is, so I know I need 32 spaces, uh, 32 characters in this password. So the first thing I'll do is I'll create an array of characters and I'll call it password and I'll make it 32 characters wide. Okay, no problem. And it's just yellow because it's not used yet. So that's just a little note for us. Then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna copy all the comparisons that we're doing. And I'm gonna bring them into Vault Door. And I'm gonna throw this away so we have a little more space. And I'm gonna use the find and replace functionality within VS Code to save me a lot of typing. I could do this, for example. I could say, well, the password zero position is equal to D, and then we need to end that line. And, and that's perfectly valid Java. I don't wanna do that 32 times or a thousand times or anything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this text and you can see VS Code recognizes that all these are the same. So these all match what we just selected. I just pressed Control F to find all of these. And I'm gonna change all these guys to be that left bracket. So meaning in this array, we wanna do something, left bracket. So I'm gonna replace one to start so you can see what's happening. Okay, so that's working. Now I'm gonna replace them all and we can see everything that's matched. All right, everything's still red, but that's okay because now we have to replace the next portion. So we need it to be a single equal sign and we need to close off the bracket notation that an array expects. So what we're gonna do is we can see these don't all match because this has more spaces or less spaces. We could use a regex, but I feel like that's a little advanced for us right now. So what we'll do instead is it looks like it's only two cases, so we'll keep it simple. We'll replace these with a bracket and an equal sign. And we'll just check to see everything that's gonna be replaced. And that worked, perfect. We're also gonna need a semicolon as we showed up above instead of the double ampersands. The double ampersands were just joining all these checks together. So before we were doing checks, now we're doing assignments. So slight difference. Okay, perfect. And then we still have this one case that we have to replace where we had that extra space and things weren't matching. And we can see that matches in all the lines that we have problems with. So this is gonna be great. This is gonna give us working code. So we will replace that. And now we can see we got all the red out, which is awesome. So at the very end, I wanna print system out print line what the password is. And since things are a little wonky in terms of our formatting, I'm gonna format the document just so it's a little nicer and aligned and I'm going to run it. 
and you should expect to see down here the password. So we run it, and there's our password. Descramble the characters. So I hope you see how we could very quickly, rather than having to go through line by line and change everything, or do it manually and, and transcribe it, we can very quickly get a solution out of this. And let me just prove this is the solution. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, if you could like, subscribe, or comment, it would help me out a lot. Thanks. Bye.